clients. Of course, you can have the most beautiful slides in the world, but if you don't have a compelling message, a story that resonates with the audience, then it doesn't matter. Storytelling is one of the most important things. And absolutely, if there is one, that, for example, we haven't talked about the original and enjoyable element today of our process, of our score process, but the key way for you to be able to create a presentation which is also original and enjoyable is to tell stories. You're right, Kuma, people remember stories much more than facts and figures. Like, for example, I don't want to use me as an example, not at all, but in my case, I told you the story of Maureen, who was invited to give a talk to the Association of Blind People in Finland and what that meant in relation to my message. Now, my message was that you have to start with the audience, that you need to make it relevant to them. And you see, I could have communicated that message as it is, just start with the audience, make it relevant. But now I asked myself, okay, what story can I tell to illustrate that point? And this is my invitation here for everybody. Every time you have an important message to communicate, ask yourselves, what story can you tell to illustrate that point, to make it memorable? That's what people will remember. And you see, it doesn't have to be an emotional story. It could be like in my case, something that happened to one of your clients. It could be your own personal experience. It could be an example, an anecdote, an analogy. If you think about it, there is always a story to tell. The problem with most, especially business presentations, is that they are 99% facts and 1%, if we are lucky, is story. We should turn this around.